Hi, how are you today? It's a gloomy day in Atlanta, but sunshiny somewhere, and we thank the Lord for it. Today is my... Hi, how are you today? Check my... It's a gloomy day in Atlanta, but sunshiny somewhere. Pardon me? <laughs> today is Master's Monday, where we learn from the masters who've gone before us the marketing masters who are currently established and thriving online, they can teach us so much if we only observe them. Hey, Melinda, how are you? So good to see you. Hey, Brian, Jim, Jim. Hey, thanks for joining me today. Uh, I'm Patricia Durgan, the Christian Message Coach, and this is Marketers on a Mission. This is a live show for every Christian who has an idea for a book, a business, a ministry, or an online course. We take the mystery out of marketing online. So you can be successful as a marketer on a mission for Christ. So today's, today's question as we get started is, have you joined Platform University? That's Michael Hyatt's membership site. Have you joined Michael Hyatt's Platform University? Today, we're going to be doing a follow-up episode from a uh, follow-up from a previous episode where we talked about some of the techniques and strategies he's using for his upcoming launch. Um, I joined um, Platform University. I was in the very first class. I think I was in the very first of the t first ten group of ten people. I'm not sure. I was, I was in the first class back in 2012. So I've been following him and I followed him before then since 1998. I have followed him. Now I'm not a rabid fan, but I enjoy him. He's top notch. His quality is good. Um, he has a consistent product and value every time he puts something out. Whatever it is, you can bet it's going to be valuable and you can bet it's going to take you from where you are to where and the next step closer to where you want to be. So he has a membership site that he's had since 2012. It's called Platform University, and he has uh, created a new tool for it. So let's do a little bit of strategy right here. What's the purpose of the new tool? Ah, somebody's, <laughs> somebody's sending me a message. Um, he wants to grow his email list, of course, because no matter how established we are, we still want to be adding new people to our email list, okay? Uh, but when he wants to do it, we all want to do it before we launch. And he's fixing to have an upcoming launch for his platform. You that's what he calls it. He wants to add people to his list well before the launch is official. Now, he has not said, I've got some stuff to show you today that he's currently doing. And in none of it, he, does he say, this is a precursor to my next upcoming launch for Platform University. That's not the way it works. Established marketers don't just go online and say, well, I've got something to sell you. Would you like to have it? Uh, no, that's not the way it works. So they ease us into the conversation. Now, this is in no way tree or anything deceitful or underhanded. This is the way marketing is done online when we are dealing with people who have never met us before. And maybe they have followed us for a while, but they've never spent money with us. Maybe they've never even heard our name until the very moment we're engaged with them in this conversation. So how do they go about, hey, Kim, how are you? So good to see you. Um, they find a new or a different way to serve us. They want to grab our attention. They want to serve us. They want to do something, give us something of value that will be so enticing. And again, nobody's trying to trick anybody. They want to serve us so well with such excellent content that we will give them our email address. So then we will be added to their email list so that when it's time to launch their product or program or book, we, they'll be able to send a note to us and say, hey, we've already, they won't say this, but, but behind the scenes, we've already established a relationship with you. We've already served you with quality content. Now I've got something new and exciting I wanted to tell you about. And then they begin the process of the launch. And that can be, a launch can be anywhere from a few days to several months, according, depending upon how complex you want it to be, how many people are involved, how many steps. And I'm not trying to suggest that you need to do something complex or com complicated. I want to give you the, today, I want to give you the overview of how one person does his launch this one time. And as he does launches and other people do later as we follow them, 
I'll show you those as well. Because here's the thing about online marketing. You can do anything you want, any way you want. That sounds like so such freedom, doesn't it? And what actually it is, is it's paralyzing or it can be. Because there's no credit. There are certain ways that things are done, but you don't have to do them that way. There's a certain step, a sequence of steps that are covered, but you don't have to use those steps. There's so much freedom that there's there's no structure whatsoever. And it can we just don't have any idea. If this was our first, if we were preparing for our first launch in a month or in a two months, then the question would be, what do we do? Oh, well, you can do anything. Well, that doesn't help me at all. I need, how, what do other people do? How can I learn from other people what they're doing? And whether I do those exact tasks or not, it gives us education and information so that we can gauge where we are and how we want to approach doing the same thing in our own unique way. And that's what we're doing on Marketers Monday, um, Masters Monday. We're observing how other people who are already established and leaders in the online marketing field, how they work, and then how can we apply what we've learned and draw conclusions from what we see into our own business and industry. So that's the goal for today. Um, I'm going to show you the assessment, the new tool that he's offering. It's called a platform assessment. Now, he always has something going on with his launches. He always creates something new. And it's typically tied to web webinar, but I'm giving away the end of the story. He's using a new tool this first time out, and he's calling it the platform assessment. And it's a question, a series of nine questions. Um, I'm not filling the blank, but we've got multiple choice, multiple choice questions. And as we go through those questions, then behind the scenes, the little the little bots are calculating and doing what they do so that he can give us a conclusion at the end. If you've answered these questions in this way, then that means you, will, you know, these are the things that I can help you with. Now, here's the thing. This is important. He can help. He's created, he and his team have created these series of questions in such a way that they can answer the questions for whomever fits in any of these categories. Now, that does not mean that he changes his stripes. It means that... Wait a minute. I forgot to put my, shut the door on my puppy dog's doghouse, and so she's cleaning. Um, that means that he's capable of doing many different things within this real house, this topic, this subject matter, okay? And he has taken all that he knows that he wants to share and he's ready to reveal to the world. And he has backtracked it, he and his team have dissected it so that there is a series of questions. If you need this answer from us, then that would mean you're in this situation and you have this level of knowledge and these are the likely problems that you have. And he's done that for three or four different categories. He's not presenting it that way. I'm telling you, based upon 22 years of being studying online marketing, which I just realized last week I counted those up for the most accurate number ever, ever 22 years in many sites. Oh, oh, it's kind of overwhelming. So when we follow people we for in and out, up and down for years and years and years, and even if we don't catch every single thing we do, we learn. Them. Whether it's somebody we know in person, somebody at work, in the church, in the community, even online, when we are around them, we're exposed to them and their message and their character and their sense of humor and the way they operate, we learn things from them that when we're ready to take those very same steps or reach those, reach toward those very same goals, we can look back upon what we've learned from these people who went before us and say, so glad. I'm so glad to have been exposed, to have access to this person and the techniques that they use. That's going to help me as I get my uh, so I'm going to show you the assessment page by page with my answers. And uh, then I'm going to show you what happens after. Okay, so it's a sequence of steps. It's not going to take long. We'll go through over three steps in the sequence, all designed to give me, as the viewer, so much value that I'll go on to the next step. Because there are three steps in this sequence. That's the three steps are, I'm going to show you, that the nine questions are one step. They comprise one step. Then there's a second step and a third. 
I'm going to show you all three. Um, finally, the last one is signing up for his what? Before he creates a launch, he always has a free webinar that teaches even more valuable information. Hey, David Winters, how are you? Happy Monday to you, Kim. I love you, girl. Thanks for being here. Um, okay, so here goes the screen share. Let's go look at it right now. Boom, boom, boom. I'm so glad you're here with me today. All right, here we are. So here's the very first page. Everything I'm going to show you, this is everything that's in green on these, these notes that are the green notes, they're my notes. They're not his, of course. And everything that I'm going to share with you today in these three six steps, these three set of three sequences, excuse me, this sequence of three steps is already in the public arena. I'm not showing you anything that's private, nothing behind a, gate, a paid gateway. This is all already in the public. So here's the very first page on the platform assessment, welcoming me, giving me some directions and helping me understand. I'm on the platform. There's the header at the very top. I'm on Michael Hyatt's platform, a university site. And uh, so I've got the logo and the name. So I understand I'm in the right place when I clicked on that link, whether it's a Facebook ad or something else that got me here. Now I, he's identifying visually with his logo and his name, Platform University, that I'm in the right place. I am at the right location. I want to do the platform ass assessment. And it gives me a little bit of information. Then I click get started and I'm taken to the next screen. All right. So the second screen, which is the first one of the steps, nine steps, asks me three questions. And my answer is of the which of the following best describes your position right now? Well, I'm building my platform full time. So I filled in my little blank, my radio button, and I click the next. Now you can look at those questions there. The overall question is which elements of your platform have you established so far? That's a reasonable question. Choose all that apply. If none applies, please, please skip this question. Well, I've got almost every single thing. I've already checked off all of those. I've already done all of those. Now, some of them more are more developed of the ones that I've already completed. I've got a couple, two or more complete, more developed, highly developed, more refined. And two of them that says, I'm close, I'm, I'm close, but you know, not quite fully developed yet. And one I haven't even touched on. So I'm just showing you my answers. Uh, then I would click the radio button and go to the next screen. Now, again, this is the platform assessment, the new tool that Michael Hyatt has made available a couple of weeks ago. We already had an episode on it, but we didn't go through the actual assessment. That's what we're doing today. Um, and it's a valuable tool so that we will love it and tell our friends about it and everyone will want to participate and when we do in order to participate now we, what do we have to do we have to give michael and his team our email address so that he can stay in touch with us periodically and particularly in this upcoming launch that he has not yet identified as going on but because i've observed him for years i know that this is what's happening excuse me the next page when you think about building your platform how does it make you feel and there are various um, options here now, I answered, my answer that I, that I actually submitted was, I'm excited. I think my brand has a lot of potential, and I believe I can move it forward. But I'm more confident than that. So when I re went back later and I reread that, I'm actually in the last, I've since changed my answer. It doesn't make any difference. I'm just notifying you. I am confident. I'm already getting traction online, and I'm confident my branding will continue to grow. Okay, next page. When it comes to building your online platform, which of the following best describes your current situation? And of course, we get some more choices. I'm focused, I've chosen, my focused on the money side of my platform right now, offsetting costs or generating revenue. So I'm creating products and programs behind the scenes so that I, <coughs> I can offer them to you in the months that come, in the months to come. Um, but it also, and we have here, I need help prioritizing. Another option is, eh, I'm trying to figure out who my audience is. Another option is, I struggle identifying the best tools to use. And the last one is, I'm searching for the best way to reach more people with my existing platform. Now, again, we don't know this, but anybody who creates a um, survey, and this is what this basically is, it's a questionnaire, a platform assessment, but it's basically a survey, then we, we know 
what we want to offer and we back that out so that the questions bring our audience, our survey participants to a topic, a conclusion that we can serve them in that area. Okay, that's exactly what he's doing. It's not just very common, a common approach, a common tool, but done with excellence and with unique name and so forth. And he doesn't call it a survey. He calls it a platform assessment. Okay, we're almost finished with the how this is the fifth question of nine. How far have you come with establishing your brand identity? Well, I've got every one of them. I, I've, I mean, 22 years. Come on. And I've done this multiple times in 22 years. I have a name and a domain name for my brand. I have a logo and a tagline for my brand. I have a defined color palette and a set of fonts for my brand. And I have a professional headshot or a header image for my brand. So these are questions that you can be thinking of as we go through here and you see this and go back and watch the replay if you want to see these again, these questions again and answer for yourself. Even if you don't do the platform assessment online, you can get information from this. That, oh, of course, that's the next step. Sometimes we don't see what we need to do until someone asks us, have you done X, Y, Z? Oh, no. And you think of that. OK, let's go back and do it. So we can use this for ideas to move forward on our own, even if we never do business with Michael. Step six of nine, how many subscribers do you currently have on your email list? Now, I don't have very many. And it's a ridiculous situation that I've been over 20 years online, and yet I have very few uh, subscribers. And that's my own responsibility, and I'm the one that uh, regrets that. I spent so many years learning, 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 and not enough time. Uh, there was an imbalance. I love learning, so it's never wrong to learn. But there was an imbalance because I spent so much time in this category. I didn't spend enough time, not even not even close to being equal in the content creation, the product creation category. So I'm working on that, working on that. That's a weak area for me. Is it a weak area for you? Let me check before we move further. Let me check and see if we have any questions or comments. Not yet. Perfect. All right. Question seven of nine. Do you follow a regular schedule? for when you'll publish content to your blog and social media channels. And the choices are absolutely not, never think about it to all the way to, I'm completely in control. I'm almost there. My Facebook Live is consistent every weekday from th at 3 p.m., 20 to 25 minutes. We're here. I'm teaching you something about online marketing. Um, my social media is better than it ever has been, but it, it's nowhere near what another a more established, equally established individual would have. And my blog post, I just think on blog posts. I just think on them. But that's going to change. Tell you more about that another day. All right, here we go. Almost to the last. What type of online platform are you building or intending to build? And here we have options. of um, The one I chose was I'm building an audience around my name and personality with a central message. And that's all about me. All about me. Um, there are other options, nonprofit or a charitable cause, uh, you're building around a business name and so forth. Last question. Step nine of nine. How does your profession relate to your aspirations for your platform's future? <laughs> Fancy words. I've chosen my online platform as my primary focus or so source of income. So that describes me best. And again, you can go back through here as you watch the replay if you'd like to and read all these questions. For yourself. Now, here's the next question. I'm showing you the behind the scenes um, look um, that's still public that anybody else who's doing the platform assessment would be able to see. Nothing private about what I'm showing you. So, what am I supposed to do? I've gone through and I've ch checked off the applicable radio buttons. And now, what am I supposed to do? Well, I want the results. Of course, I want the results. Woo! That was always hoping I want. That's exactly what he wants me to want. So am I ready for to get my results? Just one more step. Sign up. Now he wants my email address. But well, what did he do first? He and his team served me first with, even though it's not content in the sense that I was being educated or informed, think how he has tantalized me in a, in a good way. Um, he's not promised to sit, show me the three-headed lady behind the curtain. He's giving me quality questions that are spurring thoughts in me as has his typical viewer that I have perhaps never thought of or haven't thought of in a while, or they were disjointed 
And his sequential steps have shown me this is a sequence of tasks, one after the other, after the other, after the other. And just by going through this survey, I'm learning from Michael Hyatt and his team, right? Okay, so I filled in, because I want to show you the process. I filled in the opt-in boxes, and this is the page that I went to next. Congratulations. Your results are in. And this picture of him is actually a video. It's like two and a half minute video. And it's got general information, not general in the sense of general worldwide, but within the framework of his message, it's general information. And then he's given me, you know, he's telling me, I've put together my recommendations for you in this quick video. And what does he want me to do? What's the next step? You see the call to action button? Let me zoom in a little bit. Am I ready to go one? Have I, his question to me is, have I intrigued you enough? Have I served you enough? Are you ready to go one step further? Now he's already got my name, right? My name and my email address. But do I, am I ready to go, eat, trust him just a little bit more and go one step further? Well, let's say I am, which I am. So he's inviting me to take another action to attend his free webinar. Three Secrets to Exponential Growth, How to Build an Engaged Online Following in Just 30 Minutes a Day. Well, who doesn't want to do that? You're giving me a great payoff. You're giving me a promised result in a short period of time. And it's the result I need. I need to know more about this. So boom, boom, boom. Check, check, check. Yes, I'm going to sign up. So I scheduled, uh, accepted the, click the link and said, yes, I want to, I want to join the free webinar. Here's the email that I got. And again, you would see all of this. We're just, I'm showing it to you for training purposes. So it can spur your imagination and help you see how these different pieces of the puzzle fit together to make a whole. Okay. And this is all pre-launch. There's no launch going on yet. Let me check the, while you're looking at that screen, let me see if there's, any remarks? Not yet. Perfect. Um, okay. So here is a little bit more about the webinar. He's given me the information via the survey. He's intrigued me and he's gotten my email address out of me willingly. Then he gave me an invitation for a second step to sign up for the free webinar. I did. Here's the information about the free webinar. Now, he's no longer talking to me about the platform assessment. He's talking to me about the, the webinar, the upcoming webinar. All right. Now, here's a long page that we're not going to have time to review today. I'll show you this another day. And even in the previous episode, I showed you this also. But this is what is called a landing page. When I click this link, I land on this page. Some landing pages are very, very short. Some are very, very long or in between. We'll review this some other day. But the point here is, this is the sequence. I took the survey that he calls a platform assessment. It had nine questions. Then he invited me to learn my results. So in order to do that, I needed to give up my email address and my name. Then I got an email that, that I, no, no, no. Then after I gave up my email and my address, then I was invited to take a second step. He's just served me. He's intrigued me. I'm interested in knowing a little bit more about what is this thing happening? I like what I see. I want to know some more. Ah, oh, well, as a matter of fact, he says, I have a free webinar coming up. Would you like to sign up for that? I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, then I get an email telling me about the, the, the upcoming webinar and thanking me again for participating in the platform assessment. So why? what's the deal with this elaborate process? Ah, let's go back. What's the purpose of this elaborate process? Why do people do these things like this online? Because hundreds or thousands or millions or billions of people don't know who you are. They don't yet know that you are trustworthy and wonderful and knowledgeable and wise and helpful and um, all the good um, words that, that we could fill in the blank. They don't know that yet. So we don't go online like a carnival barker and say, I'm wise and wonderful. I can entertain you, educate you, inform you. No, that's not how it's done online. As, as business owners or ministry leaders, we go online and we offer content or free resources that are top-notch, high-quality content so that people will respond first to the content. 
They don't know us. Most people don't know us. Most people have never heard of us. If we go and say, I've got something I want you to do, why would they bother? But if we say, I've got something valuable that I know that you want, we don't say it with those words. We say it when we create a title that's compelling and it offers a content that we know that they want. How do we know that? Because we've done our customer research, which is another title, another episode altogether. Excuse me. So first they come into our space online because we're giving away content that's rich and valuable and, and fits them and their needs. It answers a problem. Excuse me. It answers a question or it solves a problem. Okay. Then the next step is that hope, we hope that they'll be interested in us. They came because they were interested in the content. Now we want to get to know them and serve them and let them know us via email. And then they start coming, hopefully, because they're interested in us and not just the content. Then if they stick around long enough, we keep helping them, serving them, um, showing them things they didn't know before, strategies, tactics, whatever, whatever our message is, it entails. Then they'll eventually begin to wonder, who is this person really? What did they do? Could I possibly work with him or her? That's the stage we want them to get to. This is what I'm doing right now. This is exactly what I'm doing right now. I'm offering you, everyone who comes to my Facebook Live shows every weekday at 3 p.m., I'm not asking you for anything. I haven't tried to sell you anything. I'm not asking you for your email and your address, um, your email, your name and your email. I'm serving you for free and giving you quality content that is helping you get from where you are to where you want to be in small chunks. And sometime soon, I'm going to have something created that I would like to sell. I would like to offer it for sale. And I pray that you would, by that time, be not only interested in the content that I offer and not only interested in me, but perhaps, as Lord wills, you would be interested in the product or service or program that I offer. And only a small percentage of people will, do, will be. That's statistic. Not everyone is going, if we have 100 people or 1,000 or 10,000 people on our list. There will be a small number who are ready to take action. But if we don't have anything to offer and we don't offer anything for sale, no one will buy it. Who is it? Wayne Gretzky who said, we miss every, we miss 100% of every shot we don't take. <laughs> who do you know? <coughs> Excuse me. Who's trying to market their message online? Perhaps they'd find these things, these live trainings useful too. Please share this video with them. You can share the video itself you, on your own timeline. You can click the link and tag somebody if you'd like to do that and bring them over. Let them join the, the episodes every day, 3 p.m., every weekday. Uh, join me tomorrow when I, we will, what are we going to discuss tomorrow? Oh, I'm going to show you. I love the, I love visual stuff. We're going to, I'm going to show you how to choose your website's color scheme. So come tomorrow, 3 p.m., and bring your friends. I hope that this uh, show helps you become a marketer on a mission for Christ. Thanks for being with me today. I'm Patricia Durgan. See you tomorrow.